Hello everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee, a meteorologist joechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, SNS Storm Chasers, as we uh, take a look at the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center based on the um, 11 o'clock advisory, and we have Tropical Storm Ermine, which is forecast to become a hurricane. We've got warnings up from the Suwannee River to Mexico Beach, that includes uh, Apalachicola and Panama City, and then a watch extends further west to Destin. And this is the Hurricane Center forecast track. They basically adjusted it from the prior one slightly uh, without having really uh, seen the global models yet because they're just running now. And because the reconnaissance aircraft fixes were a little bit further to the east tonight, they kind of adjusted it just a little further east, but still take a tropical storm basically inland and then uh, to uh, the southern tip of Delmarva, the southern part of Chesapeake Bay, to just east of Cape May, Atlantic City, and then take it straight east from there. Um, this could be the beginning of some kind of a loop, I'm not sure, uh, but that's their forecast for the moment. So let's look at the satellite view here. First, the wide view. We have our weather front that's coming through now, and here is Tropical Storm Ermine getting better organized, top winds now 60 miles an hour, and uh, the core of convection is really becoming rather impressive. Uh, there's time for this to become a hurricane before it makes landfall, and uh, the pressure's down to under 1,000 millibars on the last recon, so I think it's entirely possible. Now, we'll go to a close-up view, and there you can see Ermine. Uh, with the core of the thunderstorms as the center continues to move kind of north-northeast at about 10 miles an hour. Um, where all this is headed now with respect to the, the models, I'm going to back up on the GFS because the model runs were a little further east, but they're also a little different. I just want you to understand that as we go forward with this, it's going to be pretty fluid in terms of the uh, how this comes out. We're going to be dancing around model run to model run here. And the GFS takes it now a little further east, right along the coast of South and North Carolina, along or just inland or just off the coast, takes it northeastward. And then uh, when it's south of Montauk, it begins a slow hook back. So let me just back it up here so you can see. There it is. You see how it kind of just starts to hook up a little bit and then uh, maybe making a little bit of a loop, uh, actually maintains a, a fairly decent intensity down in the 990s on the uh, pressure. Uh, that would suggest that this could be a strong tropical storm in this position. But again, this is going to be model run to model run. You've got this big high to the north. Uh, that's going to tighten the pressure gradient some. You know, where the actual strong winds and heavy rain set up at this point, I don't know. Uh, I don't think anybody really knows that. This is going to be a very close call all the way around and a very volatile situation in terms of the forecast. So I, I don't think, um, you know, we could say for sure how this is all going to play out. I can tell you that Saturday should be okay, although we'll probably have clouds increasing. And then rain will be backing in. If this is right, it'll be backing in from the east. You know, how again, how this all plays out remains to be seen. Uh, a tropical storm in this position is going to create some problems with coastal flooding uh, for Long Island and New Jersey, for southern New England, and down to the Delmarva Peninsula, uh, particularly because we do have a new moon uh, going uh, this, uh, early next week. So that's something that we have to pay uh, close attention to. I'm just going to jump real quick over to the NAM model, and because the NAM model doesn't really go out far enough, but it takes it inland and then kind of takes it northeast, north, northeast from there along the Carolina coast and then starts to arc it northward and then northwestward. Um, it looks like it would probably try to go toward Cape May or uh, De southern Delaware. Uh, the NAM, you know, does not have precip much further north than southern New Jersey here by Sunday morning. So, you know, again, um, we're going to have to keep a very open mind on how this all plays out. Uh, in the meantime, um, we're still not uh, going to be able to see the Canadian model because it's not out yet. The European model comes out in a couple of hours, so we'll get to that uh, in the morning. So have a great day. Don't forget SNS Storm Chasers, uh, SNSStormChasers.com, MeteorologistJoeChaffee.com, and WeatherLongIsland.com. And do, do subscribe to my um, YouTube. It's free. 
and uh, you'll get the extra videos along with the videos that you have on Facebook. And my dog is calling me saying he has to go out for a walk. 